fantastic start to the EPSA Premiership season for Kaiser Chiefs, unbeaten in four matches and starting with a 6-0 victory over Amazulu. They travel to the Mpumpela Stadium today to take on 10th place Bitfest Bits in the fifth round of the EPSA Premiership. From the supporters here at the Mpumpela Stadium for both two, then a Gareth Devine goal separated the two sides. Mabizela is the only man on three yellow cards. If he picks up a yellow today, he could be suspended. Brian Mato is with me, and here's the team news. A team under construction considered five goals thus far is a defense led by Mbulela Mabizela, partnered by Aaron Quena, Bryce Moon on the right hand side. They've considered five, as I said, but they've also managed to score five. Do they have the ammunition on the right hand side? Look out for the pace of this man, Calvin Cardi. He will be partnered on, on the left hand side by this man, former Santos, Ewan Isaacs. Terra Fantini is the target man. We turn our focus now on to Kaiser Chiefs, a team well oiled. They've considered two goals thus far. They have the ammunition of Eric Matoko, but they are led by this man, the former Shamai, the former captain of Bitfest Vets. But they have the ammunition going forward. Look out for Zipuwe Chabalala, not on the left-hand side, but on the right-hand side, because George Libisi will be operating on the left-hand side. And we are underway at the Mbompela Stadium in Nels Brakes. It is Bitvest Fitz who host Kaiser Chiefs today, round five of the ABSA Premiership. It's Bitvest Fitz in white, Chiefs in the dark and uh, gold colours. I think it's a uh, dark blue, if, uh, well, that's what it looks like anyway. And it really is good to be with you from here. It's difficult to see from this distance, but I think the colours were announced as being a dark blue instead of just the pure black colours. Whoever questioned <laughs> that you are colourblind, they were wrong. You are so spot on. It is navy blue. You are not colourblind. Well, there's hope yet <laughs> for me as uh, Erin McQuena gets a touch back to Stephen Hoffman. Now we must talk a little bit about Stephen Hoffman. He's only 18 years old. Bit of a mistake from the teenager. He's come through the junior ranks, but uh, he's keeping a couple of the highly experienced goalkeepers for Pit Best Fits out of action. And of course, one of them is Emil Baron, who's uh, had his share of injuries, but he did play in the first match. But since then, it's been Stephen Hoffman who's played in all of the matches for Pit Best Fits, and he's improving in every match. And it's fantastic to see a youngster at the age of 18 being given an opportunity between the posts for the students. It's such an attractive side going forward, Kaiser Chiefs. Space here for the goal! Nice set up! The defensive but best foot has been caught napping, and they tuck it away. And Kaiser Chiefs lead by one goal to nil. We're only 13 minutes into the match. I said it. They are predators. You cannot afford to give them the slightest chance in the box. It's the combination of Bernard Parker. You also have Kingston Carter. There's a ball played in the box. Look at that. Look at the numbers as well. Lots of ball watching. If you look at it, a defense, not clinical at all, but they got punished. And they will be when there's Kingston Carter and there's Bernard Parker. He scored a goal against Black Leopards and he opens the score for Kaiser Chiefs today. 13 minutes played. Kaiser Chiefs lead by one goal to nil. Nice work by Bernard Parker, but it's been scooped away by Owen Isaacs. Cleared by Sibunusu Gatka. It's going to be a tough battle for Budvest Fitz to get back on level terms, but that's what champion sides are made of. Fantini! The offside flag was up. Good call. His excuse will be that there's so much noise, I couldn't hear it. But it's a good call. Way offside. few moments later, an customary mistake from the Kaiser Chiefs, allowing the half opportunity for Bryce Moon. Now it's the Pirate Tabalala. Back up. It's been afforded far too much space in my opinion, but just space for the Pesce. Still looked opportunities on here. Boca! Goal! The man is unstoppable, Brian Mata. They have a payoff line, they are saying rise, Makosi, rise. And they are rising to the occasion. 
legions of fans have come out to watch this exciting team in action. You can look at the quality of football displayed, the organization in the mid for the Amakosi. He was always under a disadvantage. Muromwanda against Matthew Patterson. No time added on by referee Kulatsande Konko. No yellow cards issued by the match referee either. But there's been plenty of action and most of that has been provided. So Parker scored on 13 minutes and on 36 as Kaiser Chiefs go into the break, leading over Bit Best Bets by two goals to nil. Spits by two goals to nil at half time in this round five EPSA Premiership encounter and we've seen some absolutely scintillating football over the first 45 minutes. Not surprisingly, one substitution made at half time by Antonio Lopez Havas. Asiva Langwe is on for Offense Nato. Asiva Langwe is just 19 years old, he's come through the junior ranks, but he's much more of an attacking wing player than Offense Nato, who's a defensive midfielder. So they've done away with one of the two defensive midfielders, but best fits as the students get us underway for what should be a pulsating second half with the students looking to get back into the match as quickly as possible but in doing that they might expose themselves at the back for even more strikes we might even see a hat-trick for Bernard Parker tonight Sapiro <laughs> Tavalala Almost uh, relinquishes possession to Erwin Isaacs. A bit of a dangerous ball, but uh, no damage done as Masha Mohite finds himself in possession. No changes made by Stuart Baxter at half time. Well, to be perfectly honest, there was no real need to make any changes. The fluidity of the passing in the team is absolutely terrific, as you see right now once again. And that should be a yellow card, surely, not even a foul, says referee Conco, which is rather surprising. Nonetheless, that's Terra Fantini. Lots of space at his disposal here, Bryce Moon. He's done a good job initially, Bryce Moon. Space in the area. Opportunity. Well, Tumalin Cooney was very, very lucky in front of Calvin Cardi. That's the numbers we're talking about. Get the numbers in the box. And you can see Bryce Moon improvises. He gets the ball on target. It's a great head, I was there at the right time with Jumel and Kuna. It's not so much of a great save, but just being there at the right time. You can see good technique there. Got it on. That's Isaacs again. Siva Longwe. Tries to take on Lebesse, it does take on Lebesse. Good opportunity here, passes on! You've got to hit the target when you're in a position like that. Not when the spade work has been done for you. Surely, surely you've got to do something. Let's admire the skill of this young man, the vision, the composure that he's got inside the box. But disappointing finishing from Matthew Patterson when the spade work has been done, laid on the platter for him to at least hit the target. But he appreciates the supply, but he will be disappointed with his finishing. Good cover from Eric Matoho. The throw has been taken quickly though. Good play as well. Langwe across to the far side. Own goal. Or will it be given to Pitvest Fitz? The question is that they've struck back. And now it's game on in Bompera. Oh, credit has to go to this young man. Asimbe Langwe. Now operating on the left hand side, combining with Terra Fontaine. He follows the run and he lays that ball. It's a great finish. The world taking goal. It's game on. Yeah, it's a terrific goal. No chance for Sipi with Chabalala. No chance for Tumal and Kuna either. And suddenly, the substitutions at the right times and the pressure they've exerted are paying dividends for Bit Best Bits because they've pulled right back. It's Kaiser Chiefs who lead, but by a diminished margin, Chiefs lead at Bit Best Bits by two goals to one. Cardi accredited with a goal. Look at the moment and Bitvest Fitz looking to make another change. Ibrahim Sidat is going to come on here for James Mayinga.
excitement there because uh, there was talk that Marisburg United would play some matches down in Port Elizabeth. Of course, Jomo Cosmos were playing some matches there when they were in the Premiership last season. Yes, Matoro showed too much of the ball to Marvizela. Now Patterson. That's a lovely ball. Matoro's on side here. Matoro could see it and does. That's the danger of attacking in numbers. The pressure of wanting to equalize. And the opposition gets one break and they punish you. He came on as a sub and it doesn't disappoint. He's been the favorite of the team fans. Le Soho Nolo Majoru. They considered possession here. And look at the run. Unlocked at the back. Easy tap. He had some work to do, but it's a telling pass that came from Le Soho Nolo Majoru. It's a great finish that comes from Majoro. The goalkeeper had no chance, but it all started from losing possession in the center of the midfield. So Kaiser Chiefs looking to maintain their unbeaten record in the Absa Premiership. They're not the only side that are unbeaten though. Marisburg United unbeaten, Free State Stars, Amat Tux, Super Sports United, all unbeaten. They all have matches still to play. Tumen and Kuni giving thanks to a greater being before the third goal. It is Kaiser Chiefs who lead over Pit Best Fitz by three goals to one with Matora scoring his debut goal of the season. It's already so just a matter of the ball perhaps going dead and the referee looks at his timepiece. Kaiser Chiefs go five points clear at the top of the Absa Premiership.